penalties. It, it was a different team. Do you feel that, that, you know, given the way the game was going, that that was the best way to go? Just to keep giving the ball to the running backs? Uh, I would say the offensive line played great the whole game. Um, and the running backs were finding the holes and making big plays out of it. You know, everybody that touched the ball was making big plays. Um, but yeah, we were shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit. We had to clean that up. Uh, we're definitely cleaning that up going forward. I mean, there's still uncertainty with the coaching staff in recent seasons. How do you guys deal with that as players and not let that distraction? Uh, you know, we're just taking a week by week. We're focusing on the tempo game right now. How, how is the assistant coaches stepped in and kind of helped you guys hold things together and keep moving forward? Everybody's just doing their job, contributing to the team, and you know, focus on the tempo game. How have you grown as a quarterback? first two games you played this year? You know, just getting game experience and Coach Cannon's the system. I think that's really big, just making the reads, uh, just getting used to seeing different things, how teams play us. So I think it's just a comfortability thing for me and for, you know, the whole offense. So while you might think of technology as being secondary to your core business, the reality is that without it, many companies would find themselves at a complete standstill. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. We'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and the full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. How would you say you are currently compromising that system? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun going out there and going a bunch of different things. It's What's that connection kind of like with your sister? What's it mean to kind of play with her names? Yeah. I say my sister's the most influential person in my life. You know, that's like my best friend. So I'm always going to have her with me no matter what, whether it's visible or not visible. So just wanted to show that off last weekend. Oh, yeah, all the time. You know, I was always, either, either they were coming up here or I was going back home, uh, just spending a lot of time with my family, you know, just took my mind off of things. She's definitely been excited. You know, she's the loudest one in the stands. I can always hear her no matter the stadium, even since, you know, we were younger. So it's been great. How would you describe Canada's offense in relation to what you did previously? Like you said, you got to pick how you want to, you know, try and stop us. We have a lot of different things that we can do. We have a lot of great players. It all starts up front, you know, they block everybody. So I think it's been a lot of fun, you know, just being able to be a part of it. Yeah, I think ever since I was younger, my parents always taught me about composure. You know, I try and stay calm and everything, no matter the situation, because then you can really understand the situation and try and address it. Were you frustrated the other night that things weren't working in the first half? I wasn't frustrated, I would say. I think we were definitely shooting ourselves in the foot with the penalties and things of that nature, but just trusting the plan. You know, Coach Cannon gave us a great game plan. The coaches gave us a great game plan. Just stick to it. Uh, I can't let people know that. I can't let people know that. Do you feel nervous going to your third game and right reading and not getting to your Uh, I want to say so. No. Yeah. yeah. Just happy to be back out there. Really. How do you know be kind of running without fear and being out there without being afraid of an injury, even if you are 100 percent physically? Just yeah. that mental side. I was. I tried to like through the whole process of coming back, just trying to take the mental side out of it, and I have any doubt, you know, work to get back here, you know, so just having trust in myself, trust in the whole process that took it back here, you know, just going out there and playing again, it's a blessing. Does it feel like football again? Does it feel like you? Or is that still No, it feels like football again. Anytime you get to go out there with your teammates, I think, you know, like I said, it's just a blessing. I just feel blessed being out there with those guys, going to compete with those guys. How big was Jordan's play for the offense the other 
that was crazy. That was definitely a big boost in the game, um, especially after the couple penalties we had down there. That was definitely a great play by him, great protection up front. Everybody did their job on that play, and then you saw what happened out of it. Time for two more. No, I wouldn't say so. You know, it's the Mid Atlantic. You're gonna have a bunch of crazy weather. You just gotta stick to your game plan, where the coaches give us, and just go out and try and execute it. What would you say? I mean, with what the team has been through in terms of the, to the fans who are thinking, should I go to the game or not? With the weather, what would you say to the fans and what the team has been? Through? I'll say we stuck together as a team. It would definitely be, you know, big to us if we got a lot of support from the fans, from the students, especially. But that's what I would say. It would mean a lot. All right, thanks, Kasim. Thanks.